Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just making sure I'm a I'm a female before I speak on a issue that only females should speak about. So I'm just I'm just checking that I'm a female and I have Barack Obama's permission to be able to talk about a female issue and a female's body. So I'm I'm just making sure that it's okay and I have Barack Obama's permission to do that since apparently you have to be female to talk about females' bodies. I'm I'm just making sure. Have you noticed how the people who get the most fired up about a woman's right to choose are men who've never needed an abortion, never had an ob never had a pap smear, never had a cramp, don't know nothing about any of this, but they think they're the experts. I think it's fair to say I don't tell Michelle what to do with her body. You notice that? Men acting like you know something. You don't know. Funny how that works. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Barack Obama and his comments and saying how men need to stay out of women's bodies, and he's saying, look, I don't tell Michelle what to do with her body. There's irony to this clip that I don't think Barack Obama has necessarily seen yet. Um, in order for Roe versus Wade to have even passed in the first place, it was nine male Supreme Court justices that passed Roe versus Wade. Now that it's been over a year since Roe versus Wade has been overturned, which by the way, there were women on the Supreme Court who helped in overturning Roe versus Wade, but there were all men who passed Roe versus Wade. So if we're going to follow former President Barack Obama's logic, then Roe versus Wade should have never passed in the first place. But then like pro aborts might say, wait, 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 but they're giving the females the right to choose with their body, their choice, blah, blah, blah. But that's inconsistent. So only if the males are pro-choice, then they're able to have a say on abortion because in your eyes, they technically don't have a say, but they do have a say. They have a say because in their eyes, they have the correct stance, the pro-abortion stance, they have a say, but you're going to shut up all of the men who are pro-life because they disagree with you and they're supposedly taking, like saying what females should do with their bodies. It's the hypocrisy of the pro-abortion movement because if we follow their logic okay men shouldn't have a say period on a woman's body then roe versus wade should have never ever ever happened barack obama saying this little spiel never should happen in fact the majority of women actually i agree i agree men pro-life pro-choice stay out of the abortion argument it's going to destroy the pro-abortion movement because the majority of women are pro-life. The vast majority of the pro-life movement is made up of women. So either which way, with or without the pro-life men, the pro-life movement wins because the majority of pro-lifers are women. I mean, hello. Last time I checked, I was biologically born a female. I have the cramps. I, I, I've experienced... I've Every single month I have a period. I can, my body, God created it to be able to have children and give birth because that's what um, the female body does. A biologically female body does. So, okay, we'll do it. But if you're going to be consistent with it, your pro-abortion movement is going to die. The females who are actually going through like pregnancy, and birth and having the cramps and feeling sick on on their periods and all of these different types of things never had an ob never had a pap smear never had a cramp don't know nothing about any of this to experience it the majority of them are pro-life and if we're going to go by the majority the pro-life movement wins it's very very ironic how even in the pro-abortion standards the pro-lifers aren't saying men can't have a say at all especially when they're the father of the child but we're taking the pro-choice the pro-abortion logic 
and we're flipping it against them and saying, even in your own imaginary fantasy world where men don't have a say on abortion or the woman's bodies, X, Y, and Z, they still lose. The irony of it, and it's great to watch. And as a pro-life female, biologically female woman who experiences periods and would one day love to have her own kids, men, especially pro-life men, you have a say on this issue. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Comment down below for more videos. And remember that Jesus is Lord and abortion is murder. Peace out.